Northwestern University did a study. People who abuse animals are five times more likely to commit violent crimes against humans. Now, uh, take Ted Bundy, the infamous American serial killer. He tortured animals before he killed people. There he is. Andrew Cunanan, the sole suspect in the fashion designer Versace's murder. He allegedly tortured crabs by burning eyes with matches. Chris DeRose, you're president of Last Chance for Animals. You're also an undercover investigator. Uh, you tried to go after this Luca Magnata years ago for torturing cats and putting the videos online. Why didn't police take that seriously? Because he actually allegedly told the Sun News, hey, I'm not going to stop with kittens. The next I'm going to do is not a small animal. He actually foreshadowed this, Chris. Chris? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm here. I can barely hear you, though. Go ahead. What's your point? You know, I, very quickly, I'm not sure what you were saying there, but on my end here, we have been saying this for years. There's a direct correlation between animal abuse and, and spousal abuse. There's a direct correlation between animal abuse and violent offenders in prison, and most certainly almost all serial killers have started out on animals. This should be a beacon, a light, a warning that we should start looking at these people, these young people that are doing this with animals, the potential of what they could do to humans. I really think that this case is going to bring it to light, even for the dumbest of people, to realize what it is that is that that the indications are. This is such a direct indication.